name's Ishmael. Ishmael Latte, 19 years old, about to start a BA in St. Martin's Fine Art. I always, I've always had an interest in the arts, but the point where I actually knew that I wanted to pursue this was at the end of secondary school. I would spend all of my time, skip other lessons, spend all my time in the art room. At the time, I was obsessed with trying to master more than one craft. It's always good to have more, more than one, more than one weapon at the ready or something like, just so that you're prepared for anything. Like before I started Insights, I never really knew that it was possible to reach a certain point because I didn't really have much um, access to certain things. I never thought that I would get too far with art in general. The story behind the video is looking into the um, community within Brixton, um, especially like the youth within Brixton as well. And I wanted to kind of capture their, um, their state of mind, basically like their knowledge of Brixton. This is kind of depicting kind of their lack of knowledge of the area. So it's got like different clips of things that youth would watch for example cartoons music videos and stuff like that and then it has actual clips of a very historic point for Brixton which is the Brixton riots just the whole randomness of clips and the um, transition from one to another I wanted to depict the um, lack of knowledge right so I just thought I'd like separate the tables, do a bit of like digital analog, and then my books here, a couple paintings here. They would tell us to do a certain task and then we'd have to do it. But me, I kind of took the task and made it my own. So I start off with a title page, brainstorm. Uh, introduction page would be good. Describe like what's going through your head and what you're trying to achieve. Um, then artist research and then um, experimentations. For this um, project, which is called From Above, they wanted us to look at one perspective, which is like looking at something from above. But I wanted to take that further, experiment with uh, photography, screen prints, textures. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, woodblock prints, uh, painting, so yeah, I kind of like use them as um, experimentations for later um, works. And then after all of the experimentation, you finish up with the evaluation. I don't go home and do work. I usually like stay in college for like hours on end until it closes to just cram in as much experimentations as I can. You always kind of want to like do projects so they're not fully completed. I know that sounds bad, but it's like there's always something that can be improved. I say I want to leave it. Like even though they're experimentations, it's not done to its full potential. It's like something that could be improved on, and I feel like this is this represents me the most because I'm constantly experimenting with different things. Forever evolving, yes. What do you think has been set up? Um, structure, strength of work, and annotations. Annotations, because obviously the interviews um, go at their own rate. Sometimes they flick through, sometimes they sit down and actually read what you have to say. So if there's an interview that's just skimming through your work, they're seeing some strong stuff. And then if there's another interviewer that's just sitting there taking their time, make sure that in your annotations you know what you're talking about. Don't write like an essay or anything like that when it comes to annotations. Just write something clear and precise. In a bit. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>